the Cash Racing G37. He had some issues yesterday. I talked to him in the driver's meeting. He says, dude, we changed up the fuel. So he thinks he put in bad fuel. Hopefully he's worked it out. But right now, you can't give Odie a gap like that. He is thirsty. Here we go. Odie Bocci's around that first front clip. The Cash Racing G37 shuts her down. And it looks like Odie Bocci's throw the yellow flags, throw the caution. And it looks like, yep, there it is. So Odie sees the vehicle, shuts her down as he would have uh, wouldn't have been pretty. So just as I was talking about Jonathan Hurst and working out the Gremlins, looks like he got him wet. He has that deficit there, and here we go. Jonathan Hurst comes out swinging, but uh, if I'm Odie, you got to think, you know, out of the last few runs, hasn't been 100%. You really got to risk it for the biscuit. He does just that. So Hurst looks like he found that clean fuel once again. Oh boy! Woo! Wow! Pucker up, Buttercup. Man, he grabbed all of his seat with his rear end. Wow. All right, well, with that being said, Odie Bakshis. I mean, I know he got the new Carbon Kevlar doors and body kit. But that was racing. Jonathan Hurst, G37. That Mark IV Supra, Rad Industries gear wrench, GT Radial. Whoa, oh. that got hairy. What happened there? Jonathan Hurst initiated. Looks like Dan Burkett had to do a bit of a hiccup to oh. accommodate. Oh man, sounding like Fourth of July. And a proudly stand up. We got a little Lee Greenwood popping and locking into that second outside zone. We are clear to send. And again, that chase car can leave prior to the lights being extinguished. Here we go. So Dan Burkett, good initiation now. And look, he's high up, but uh, Jonathan Hurst, he's not all the way up there. And man, let's see if he can catch up. And Jonathan Hurst, nowhere to be found. And Dan Burkett way back there. But, but Ryan, the question is, so here we go. The G37, Jonathan Hurst will lead Dan Burkett in that Mark IV Toyota Supra. Give and chase. All right, the orange G37 of Jonathan Hurst, really high on the bank, a straight line approach. Well done by Jonathan Hurst. Going through the power rally, over the, oh, and there it is. Dan Burkett taking that shallower line on the transition. Transitions gets to the wrong side of that front clip run. So uh, again, you see them June 18th and 19th. Here we go, Dan Burkett out front, Jonathan Hurst. A very late initiation from Hurst. Now Burkett, all, almost an alternation of an alternation of positions, and now into that second inside clip goes Dan Burkett. And Dan Burkett, this is I mean this is very similar to what we saw in that first battle. Brett was talking about getting this thing going, and here comes Jonathan Hurst in that chase position. Now you got to think he's got to pace him but he doesn't want to overcook it in that chase position and end up in the back end of that vet. Now coming into that first outside zone, Jonathan Hurst comes up a bit short, so Jonathan Hurst getting some grip. And look at Matt Field, gets all the way out there. Jonathan Hurst does have that proximity there. You can see him massaging it, getting out there, knocking out the cone. Oh, getting in the dirt. And now crossing over into that front clip, about the third hash mark. And then into that final outside zone. And you can see how it always tightens up kind of when they go into here and tighten it up and get that grip. But everybody, man, everybody's hitting that finish line. Swept everything off. But yep. even a little bit of rain, as you can see at the beginning, does make it quite slippery. Here we go. Jonathan Hurst, second run, taking the lead. Jonathan Hurst, Matt Field here on the second run of this battle. Jonathan Hurst brings on in. Look at Matt Field. Getting spicy here, even though it might be a little cold. Jonathan Hurst goes out to that second outside zone. Matt Field coming in shallow. Hurst using all of the course, that Cash Racing G37. Now, like you said, Ryan, you're seeing just little puffs of steam hitting those puddles into that front inside clip. And now in that final outside zone, Jonathan Hurst comes in hot. Oh, look at that. Using all the course goes Jonathan Hurst and Matt Field. Oh, going off. I see dry spots there, right? Is that, is, that, is that a dry spot? Let's get it. Let's get it more dry, boys. Here we go. Matt Field, Jonathan Hurst, splashing in the puddles, coming into that first outside zone. Looks like speeds are mildly picking up. Let's see how they handle this coming into that second outside zone. Matt Field, Jonathan Hurst coming in shallow, 
Gaining some confidence, both these, both these guys, both these drivers. Through that second outside zone, let's see how they handle right here. Kind of on point. Yeah, first right here. That's what I'm saying, right? Let's keep it going. Everybody, cross your fingers, cross your toes. Let's go down. Dry those flows as Matt Field, Jonathan Hurst. Served. Let's see if we can get a winner here that moves on in the top 16. Jonathan Hurst representing Kentucky. Matt Cash Racing G37. Let's see how they handle it going into that first outside zone. See if they learn something from that first battle. Jonathan Hurst said gaining some speeds, picking it up. Into that outside zone looks like they're mimicking each other from uh, Jonathan Hurst. Oh boy, a little straightening there, almost got some contact. Jonathan Hurst approaching that front clip. You can see him just slightly massaging it around the front clip into that final outside zone. Here goes Hurst. That's what he did earlier. Oh, firing off. Sound like a machine in Canada. We've never seen it, I guess, in the United States. All right, and oh, thank goodness. All right, boy, that'd be a real bummer. Here we go, Matt Field initiating into that first outside zone. Eastern the Bay and Cash Racing going at it. Here goes Matt Field on that second outside zone. Goes all the way out. Get both of those rear tires inside that outside zone. Oh, uh -oh. we got contact, my friends. So again, like you said, ascertaining fault. AKA, whose fault is it? So Hurst will lead. Got a clean start. Hurst, that Cash Race. Oh, wow. Got, that, got that active fender. Once again, we saw that. Saw that earlier today as uh, in pro spec. Oh man, Cash Racing G37 gets out there. That field you can see kind of just buffering as he goes to the side of the G37. They are crawling right there. Yeah, like that is, I think you could almost run faster than that. <laughs> Yo, I think you can run faster than that, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that is absolutely crawling right there. So you can see the lights there extinguish. Now you can leave the start line. Jonathan Hurst, clean start. Here we go. Let's see how the G37 handles that Mustang in the rear view mirror. The chrome nose diving in. Jonathan Hurst, not exactly the highest on the bank there. Midline, the proper line, allowing Von Kitt Jr. to gain some proximity. Hurst throws it in. Looks like he took kind of an A to B and then bones out out of that second outside zone and then into that third outside zone. Ryan, I want to talk about that third outside zone. That's attrition we're talking about, right? Yep, Hurst and Castro. Clean start now, here we go. Jonathan Hurst is going to initiate. There he goes, Castro right there in tow. Hurst looking a little cockeyed there, minus that headlight, but still put down some serious angle and throwing some more at it as they enter into the power alley. Like I said, firing off. That thing is firing on all cylinders as they go through the power alley, outside zone three, into that first and only inside clip, and finally bring it on home. Castro, I thought he would have seized the opportunity, but 86 will be out front. Like I said, that chase car can leave the start line prior to the lights extinguishing. It looks like we got a clean start. Castro goes and initiates high on the bank. Really good delivery there from Castro. Shaking it down into the power rally. Look at Jonathan Hurst all over him. But I'll tell you what, Castro with a very proper line. Good transition from him. Jonathan Hurst. Again, he's, uh, he's going for it here. Here we go as Jonathan Hurst will lead Dylan Hughes, the dozer, from here in the Pacific Northwest. He is going to give him chase. Jonathan Hurst initiates. Hopefully, uh, oil cap stays on here. Looks like it is. He has thrown it down. And looks like you can see mid high to the bank. And now into that second outside zone. Oh, big angle from Hurst. That got really wonky. Look at the angle from Hurst. Now coming around in that final outside zone. All right, Ryan, this is where this I is where Hurst actually intended to do that, but he actually salvaged that. He definitely could have parked it. Dylan was like, whoop, hold on, put on the brakes. All right, here we go. So Dylan Hughes will now lead the dozer, and Jonathan Hurst will be given chase. Look at that, Dylan Hughes. Jonathan Hurst now it seems like he's a little lower, kind of alternating positions from what went down. Oh, and Hurst goes hard to the wall. Dylan Hughes continues on through the course. 
make sure he is okay as Dylan does need to continue on through the course and he does that. Once they extinguish, they can leave the start line. Let's see what Dylan Hughes has got. Saw him last night at Denny's. We'll see if those J-Paws or the moons over Miami helps him a little bit. As Dylan Hughes throws it in, in that first outside zone, in that second outside zone, Jonathan Hurst into formation, as you call it, Brian, just jumping into that pocket. Dylan Hughes gets all the way out to that third outside zone, transitioning into that final. And both of them get out there. Dylan just goes slightly deeper, but Jonathan Hurst, no slouch. Here we go, second half of this battle. Hurst and Hughes. Jonathan Hurst initiates the first outside zone. So does Dylan. The Dozer coming to that second outside zone. Pretty similar line to what they had in the alternate positions. Now coming into this final outside zone. Who's going to flex on him? Jonathan Hurst just barely digs into that circuit and championship. Jonathan Hurst, love, <laughs> watch this thing. Get ready to plug your ears. The cash racing. Turbocharged LS G37 coming into view here of the judges. Now into that first outside zone. There he goes, pop block and drop it. Into that outside zone, that touch and go. Now into the outside zone. Brandon sorts it really deep, but then has to shallow up. Whoa, all the, oh, there was contact. But Hurst continues on. So both of them kind of having some wonky lines there. Lights are on, extinguish, it's go time. Send it, Brandon Sorensen out front from Las Vegas, 17 years young. Jonathan Hurst, Paducah, Kentucky zone. That cash racing next to tire. Seven now coming. Big angle there, Brandon digging deep. Into that touch and go. That bumper goes flying off. Now into that second outside zone. Goes Sorensen. Plumes of smoke coming off that BMW. And Jonathan Hurst is going to drill there on Chelsea's vehicle. And away they go. All right. Here we go. Yeah, throwing shots fired. Coming into that touch and go. Let's see how Nova handles it. Gets really tight. The little bumper tap under the bridge. That first outside zone. Getting the zone. Auto zone. The second outside zone. Look at that. Jonathan Hurst right there. The cash racing G37. Great we got Jonathan Hurst out front. The G37. Jonathan Hurst got a clean start, no restart here. Chelsea Denofa, what is going to be the fate? What is the destiny of Chelsea Denofa? Currently second in points. Oh, Hursty! Hammer, don't hurst him. Oh, man, looping it. Woo! Frederick Osmo leading that Rockstar Energy Drink Toyota GR Supra. Jonathan Hurst in the cash racing G37. Frederick Osmo initiates in the bank really high. But look at Hurst, gains some ground. He wobbles his way to the side of Frederick Osmo. Now coming down into that first front flip. Oh, here comes Hurst. We got contact. But it continues on the Norwegian hammer. Look at that. Continues on through the course. The rock star front and center as Hurst. So the brand new stroke. Jonathan Hurst leaves the start line. A little slow roll. No cones in. Here we go. Run two of this battle. First battle of the Royal Purple. Top 16. Jonathan Hurst initiates. Lattice eyes Osbo. Looks like Osbo gets in formation. Now Hurst past that inside clip. In that second outside zone. There goes Hurst. Osbo. Not as deep as Hurst. But I think he is just, he knows to kind of just keep a composure here. Into that final outside zone. Well done. I mean, one of the best chase drivers in the game. So